Ukraine's ambassador to Qatar, Andrew Kuzmenko, has spoken exclusively to Doha News about the ongoing war in Ukraine. Qatar museums have launched a tour that showcases Doha's architecture. Find out how you can get on board. Meanwhile, Qatar Investment Authority has revealed it holds the second largest share of funds in Russian oil giant Rosneft. FIFA and UEFA have put out a joint statement in regards to the future of the Russian national football team, as well as Russian clubs participate in European competitions. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. In an exclusive interview with Doha News, Andril Kuzmenko, Ukraine's ambassador to Qatar, revealed how Ukrainians living in Qatar and outside of Ukraine have no idea of the status of their family members that have been caught in the war back home. The ambassador stated that the bombardments taking place in Kharkiv and Jitomir are shameful and acts of brutal and unprovoked aggression. He also pointed out how Russia initially stated that war would not be the answer, then turned around days later and started attacking their neighboring country. The annual architecture is upon us as Qatar museums focus on showing of the country's architectural landscape through their exclusive program. Tours are the main source of showcasing Qatar's ever-growing and breathtaking architecture, with workshops also available for those who are interested in detail. Qatar Investment Authority currently owns 19% of Rosneft, an integrated Russian energy company. Based in Moscow, the company's majority stake is owned by Russia itself. Due to the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine, countries in Europe have started distancing themselves and their investments with Russia, with fellow GCC country the UAE doing the same. The QI however, are not under any pressure to sell their assets as they see the investment as a key to support relations between Doha and Moscow. Football's governing body FIFA alongside European football authorities UEFA have suspended Russia from taking part in any football international matches and tournaments. Following on from their statement a few days prior, where Russia was initially allowed to play, FIFA announced that the Russian national team would not be allowed to play qualifier matches for the 2022 FIFA World Cup, thus ending their run to arrive in Qatar in November. UEFA also announced that all Russian football clubs would would not be able to take part in European competitions, removing Spartak Moscow from the Europa League round of 16, whilst handing their opponents RB Leipzig a bye into the quarterfinals. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.